Welcome back to the channel, everybody. For those of you who are new around here, my name is Michael, AKA Dr. Cellini, and I am an interventional radiologist. On today's video, we are going to be talking about something incredible that happened to me lately, and that was I started my first job as an attending interventional radiologist, and I have now been doing it for a whole one week. So I wanted to tell you all how it's going, how the five days have been, how the week has gone, the good things, the bad things, and everything else in between. So let's get into it. Is my thumb supposed to bend like that? So let's go ahead and first talk about all of the bad things or things I dislike about my job. Now, thing I dislike the most about my job isn't really about my job, it's kind of has to do with my job. And that is the painful commute that I am currently doing. Now, by the time you watch this video, I will probably have moved to closer to my new job. But right now, at the time of filming this video, I'm currently commuting an hour and 15 minutes to work. And when I get off about, you know, 4.35 p.m. in tri-state area, New York City traffic, it takes me about an hour and a half on average. But one of the days this week, it took me two and a half hours to get home. So what this reminds me of is when I lived in Atlanta, and I was commuting from my parents' house, north of Atlanta, all the way to Atlanta every single day in rush hour traffic. And it would take me about an hour and 15 minutes to get there. And then like an hour and a half, sometimes two hours on the way back. I was like, never again will I ever commute ever again because I hate it so much. Because if you really think about it, I spend, what, almost four hours per day in my car. That adds up so much. So say I spent four hours in my car every single day. Let's see, four hours times five days a week times 52 equals 1,040 hours spent just driving to and from work per year. Or in other words, 43 days a year spent driving in your car to and from work. Over one month of your time is spent commuting. That is why I hate commuting so much and I will never do it again. But if you watched my prior video on my stupid apartment that's currently taking forever to finish, this is the reason why I'm commuting. But like I said, by the time this video comes out, the apartment will be ready and I will not be living in the city and I will not be commuting. So to the future me, you don't have to do this anymore. So for those that do commute, you understand my pain. It's terrible. The worst part about it all though is when I get home, I have to find parking on the street, which can take anywhere from like five minutes to like another hour. So imagine driving two and a half hours home and then having to spend like another hour trying to find parking. <laughs> that is miserable absolute misery. But luckily on that day that I'm talking about that I had to drive so much, I found parking like literally right off front of my apartment. So it was, it was okay. At least something worked out that day, right? Something. And I don't know if you can hear Andriana showering in the background, but that's the water droplets you hear. After you've seen my apartment tour video, you know that like the shower is right next door to my desk which is right next to my kitchen and living room because it's a small New York City apartment. So, you know, New York City problems. So the second dislike of my job, it's not really a dislike of my job. None of these really are because honestly, I freaking love this job. But the worst part about starting any new job is you have to start from square one learning the system and it is like so stressful, so stressful. I think I said this when I started my fellowship up here in New York City, it's like, you know how to do this stuff, like you know how to do the procedures, but that's like 1% of it. You have to learn how to use a new computer system where you read all of your diagnostic imaging from. You have to learn how to dictate on a new program. You have to learn what person does what in your department. You have to learn the machines, the x-ray machines, the fluoro suites. You have to know the ultrasound machines. You have to learn everybody in the hospital Hospital. You have to learn how the hospital functions. And the worst part about starting a new job is you have to find the closest restroom. I know I'm not the only one that thinks this way, but like knowing where the restrooms are, that's like part of the problem when you start a new job, you know? All that is a little stressful and it adds up and like, it's just kind of like anxiety provoking and like doing new things and stuff. So that was like really tough the first two days and then you start slowly getting the hang of it and then, you know, kind, kind of towards the end of the week, I felt a little better. So after five days straight, I was like kind of getting the groove of it. I still don't really understand the workflow and all that stuff, but all that stuff comes with time and the best part is they don't just like throw you into the call schedule because you know i don't know who to call i don't know anybody's name i don't know anybody's phone numbers i don't know how to use the phone there so they wait a while like a month or so until you're like comfortable working in that environment then you take call but all this learning process is super tough and anybody who has ever started a new job can 100 relate oh what i also forgot to mention is like the supplies are different 
the needles I'm used to using are different. Pretty much everything's different. So it's like, I know how to do a basic procedure, but the supplies for that procedure are different from any other procedure at any other institution I've used before because every institution orders different supplies. So it's just like a whole thing where you're trying to learn so much. But I'm gonna stop rambling and get to the next thing. The next tough thing that I've been struggling with this week is getting back into the groove of reading diagnostic studies. Now I'm an interventional radiologist. I just completed an interventional radiology subspecialty fellowship or subspecialty training. And I haven't actually dictated a diagnostic study in probably like a year and a half. Now, obviously I spent three and a half, four years in residency dictating studies. I know how to read CTs, MRIs, X-rays, ultrasounds, all that stuff. It's just been a while. You know, you open a study you haven't read in a while and you have to like look things up. You forget what you used to say. Like there's certain phrases as radiologists that we say, and it's like slowly coming back to me. And kind of by the end of the week, it was like getting better and I felt more comfortable. But the first study I opened, I was like, I know how to read this. I just can't remember what I used to say. So it's kind of tough, you know, it's just growing pains and uh, getting back into the swing of things. But so far, so good. All right, so now let's get into some of my favorite things about starting my first job as an attending and my first week on the job. Number one, my favorite part so far is getting to meet everybody. I'm literally starting from square one, meeting an entire staff. I have new nurses I have to meet. I have new other colleague, other interventional radiologists, other diagnostic radiologists in my private practice that I'm meeting. I'm meeting new IR techs. I'm meeting the custodial staff. I'm meeting the CT techs. I'm meeting the administrative staff. I'm literally meeting an entire new staff that I'll be working with, hopefully forever. It's important to me that I know their names, I know their roles, and we kind of develop a nice working relationship because we're gonna be in it for the long haul. I'm excited. I like meeting new people, talking with new people, getting to know new people. It's fun, especially when you get to know people you work with and spend all your time with on a daily basis, it's good to have good working relationships with them and I love that. And also, you're basically meeting every other doctor in the entire hospital, which is like crazy, right? Because now they look at me, they're going to be consulting me, not my attending, me, I'm the attending. We have lunch together with the other physicians in the hospital and you kind of get to know everybody and it's a tight knit community and that's that's nice for me, I like that. And while we're on that topic, the staff so far has basically treated me so nicely. They've welcomed me with open arms. They constantly come by the reading rooms or the IR suites, ask me if I need anything. They want to know if I have specific stuff that I want to order to do procedures with, any certain supplies. So for instance, the other day I did a nephrostomy tube and I didn't like the needle I was using. I'm more comfortable with the one I used to use where I trained. And he was like, no problem, I'll order that for you. And literally the next day he had a whole box of those needles for me. Like, I can't believe that I, I can like do that now. I can like request supplies and stuff and people actually listen, it's weird. It's a weird feeling. So the physicians have a certain lot that they park in and I still feel like I'm like a resident when I drive in there and I'm like, Sorry I'm here guys, like I feel like an imposter essentially. Maybe that'll wear off eventually, but I feel like I'm just like this young guy on the block and like I shouldn't be there, you know what I mean? But I guess I do since, you know, I'm an attending now. Adriana in the crowd. So my other favorite part about this job so far is the hospital is a small community hospital. It's it's not something I'm used to practicing in. We we train in these huge academic institutions with thousand beds, thousands of physicians. Nobody really knows each other. There's obviously if you work there a long time, you get to know everybody. But there's a lot of come and go physicians. Either they work there part time or they're only there a short time. So there's a lot of turnover. And honestly, at, at my fellowship, I didn't know like any physician. Pretty much. Every Every time I got a consult for somebody, I had no idea who the ordering physician was. And I don't like that as much. I like, you know, everybody to know each other. And that's why I like this hospital. It's everyone's like, oh, hey, Jim. Oh, hey, Lisa. Like, it's very much everybody knows everybody. It's a tight knit community hospital. And I like that. But it's a little scary at the same time because here I am, this new guy on the block. I have to like prove myself. And you know, I met a urologist the other day and he's like, oh, yeah, you read one of my studies earlier. And in the back of my head, I'm like, Man, I hope I didn't screw that one up. But I like meeting them all and I'm excited to kind of get to know everybody. All right, so my favorite part of my job so far is that it's everything I've wanted for the last six years, and that is efficiency. Now, if anybody knows me, my name is Michael Efficiency Cellini. Efficiency is everything to me. We must work fast, we must work hard, and we must get the job done and get out of there. That's what I like. That's how I pretty much do everything, which isn't always a good thing, but that's how I like to work. A lot of hospitals are run pretty efficiently, but I have a very high expectation of efficiency because that's how my mind works and that's how I function. And luckily, everybody is on the same page as me. They wanna schedule things how I want them scheduled. They come to me and they say, what time do you wanna 
to schedule this biopsy. I want that thing as early as possible because I want to start early and I want to finish early. I don't like having add-ons that kind of keep you there late to like 7 or 8 p.m. I don't like that. I like to be efficient, take care of everything during the day, get it done early, get out on time and go home. And everybody is on the same page. Oh, I just love it. I love it so much. So in short, it's been a week now, which is, you know, a drop in the bucket compared to like the rest of my life. But in summary, so far, so good. I'm absolutely loving it. It's a bit stressful learning all the new things and the little nuances of this hospital and the workflow and all that stuff, but I'm here for it. I'm so excited to be an attending finally. It's literally so much better than being in training. I can't even like begin to describe it. I mean, there's a lot more responsibility that comes with it, but it's so worth it. Just being an attending, being the one that's actually making the plans and driving the service and taking care of your your patients is it's what we've literally wanted since day one and it's finally here and I'm loving it so looking forward to many more I'll probably give you all an update maybe like a three or six month update to let you know how things are going and let me know below if you want me to kind of bring you along for my call weeks like I used to do I mean why is this thing always Every time I film a video, the ice maker goes off. I swear. It never goes off unless I'm filming. Let me know in the comments below if you want me to do more like day in the life or vlog style videos of like I used to do when I was on call because I will be taking probably 12 weeks of call this year and I do a week at a time. So let me know if you want me to like film those like I used to or all that stuff. It's going to be way different because it's not as challenging as it was when I was a fellow, but if you want to see it, I'll do it. Let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, make sure you smash the like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you don't already, and I'll see you all on the next video. Bye!